thing you want to do is turn the power off to the equipment. And if your equipment is connected to a mechanical timer like this Intermatic one, you're going to use the same box still. I'll show you what to do with the timer after we install the pump. Okay, there's not a lot of room back here. Let me just go ahead and get this off. I'll pull the wires out. Let me remove the bonding wire here also. Again, it's very important to make sure there's no power to the pump. I'm going to get the green ground wire off here. And I'm going to remove the two load wires. For this particular setup, both load wires are red. You may have a red and black one in your pump. Okay, so I have both of the load wires off. I'm going to straighten the wires out so I can pull them through. Okay, and screw this area. And now you should be able to pull the wires through. And let me remove this so we can wire up the pump. And you see these dip switches here on the left? Make sure they're set for however you're going to hook up the pump, whether to an Aqualink or to an external controller. I'm going to put the two red load wires here, it doesn't matter which one goes where, and then the green ground wire right here. And I'll use this elbow piece from the old pump. You can use the old wires from the other pump you took out if they're still good. I'm going to feed them through the elbow. Okay, got the green ground wire, got the screw through there. Do load one. Okay, load one is on there. Let me go ahead and do load two. And load two is secure. So that's the wiring configuration for the 230 volts. You have the ground, load one, and load two. Now you're ready to hook up the controller to the pump. So I'll show you the final connections using the Jandy IQ Pump 01. You can also find a separate video detailing the JEP R controller setup and operation. I'll go ahead and slide the wires through here. Then I'll go ahead and attach this to the back of the pump. Go ahead and feed the wires through so you can attach it to these screws. So the wiring configuration for the IQ Pump 01 is red, black, yellow, and then green. Just tighten the screw up to lock it in. cover back on. Go ahead and reattach the bonding wire to the back of the pump. So it's a variable speed pump uses its own timer. You're going to go ahead and take the on off trippers off of your manual time clock. And from now on you're going to leave this on the on position. Okay, go ahead and remove the pump lid and let's fill it with water. Put the lid back on. Pump should turn on. 